Um, can you apply for the Paycheck Protection Program? That is our question for today. Hi guys, Manic Monday. I'm Christopher, CEO, immigrant, and founder of Waiko Tax, an all-year-round, all-in-one tax payroll and bookkeeping service solution. In that particular case that you're a sole proprietor and you have rental income, in the general rule, it's no. Why? Because whenever you have a rental income, it is considered as passive activity or passive income where the form that you are using is under Schedule E. But remember that the banker or your lender, they are requiring a Schedule C 1040 either your 2019 or 2020. But Christopher, how would I be able to qualify myself if I have a rental income? Is there any other way? And that is what you call the reclassification of income method. What you can do, other people that are doing the rental, they also have uh, your tenant, for example, on your invoice, you could put there that you are rendering personal services, especially right now that there is what? An Airbnb, the bed and breakfast where you cook, you clean the house, you prepare the room, all of those things can be classified as your income as part of the charges or the invoice that you are giving to your tenants. This is easier said than done. That is why having a tax professional, payroll expert, and bookkeeper would really save you a lot of problem and trouble in the IRS and dealing with your lenders. That's why if you are in this situation or you know somebody that needs this kind of service, feel free to reach us here in WICO Tax because like what I've said before, this is not any any means, any accounting or legal advice, go back to your tax professional. But if they cannot serve you, we are here to help. Again, thank you for watching our Y Coffee Break where we are giving you the latest news in any tax payroll, bookkeeping, and even PPP concerns. All you have to do is subscribe for our latest news and latest update with your accounting needs. Again, here in Wyco Tax, you deserve the max. Stay safe.